Okay. We are now on questions. Exam questions and their solution. The first part, which is the easy and the medium question. So we are given a circle as shown. We are, we are told if, the, if O is the center, find the values of M and N respectively. So we have to find M and N individually. So and M must be, respectively, M must be the first answer. Why N is the second answer? So we are asked to solve this. If you remember, when I did uh, inscribe and go to I told you there is a relation, as, as far as this, the center of the circle, there is a relationship between N and the angle here. So if you could remember, I told you once you sum this angle, I said if you add N plus 30 must give us night, so which implies that N is 60 degrees. So remember that is it if you check out the the, the 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 last tutorial on that so the the other one we asked to find m again if you could remember whenever maybe i did not say this if you have a circle and this is the center so just know that the angle here if you sum it the two it must give us the inscribed angle so if here is A, here is B, here is C, we know that A plus B must be C. So without wasting time now, which implies that M is 60 minus 28, which is 32. So that is our answer. So our answer is, <laughs> remember M and N, M is 32, so the answer is C. So the answer is C. So the next question. The next question. We are asked to find X and Y given the diagram. This is 300 degrees. Y. So without wasting time, find Y and X. From here, Y must be 360 minus 300. Angle at a point. So Y is 60. Y X, if you remember, this using inscribed is the central angle. Angle at the center must be two times the one at any other part of the circumference or the inscribed angle. So I'm saying that which implies that angle at the center must be two X. That's that's our inscribed angle theorem. So Y must be two X. Therefore, X is Y over two, which is 60 over 2, 30. So the answer is 30, 60, the same C. So the next question, we are given this. If o, o is the center of the circle, we are asked to find X. So again, for this to be, for this to be the diagonal, the diameter, you notice that the inscribed the central angle is one eight. So meaning the inscribed angle. So I'm saying that angle okay, let me call here C. So I'm saying that angle A C B must be ninety degree by inscribed angle theorem. So it's ninety. So since A C B is ninety implies that okay let me level here d implies that angle b c d is 55 remember the total is 145 here is 90 so 55 145 minus 90 is 55 and again if here is x remember angle in the same segment or both Bow's theorem. So if here is therefore x is also 55 by Bow's theorem. That's angle in the same segment are uh, congruent. That's angle that has the same intersected axis. Check it. That's B A D A B and also B C A. So it's here is here is also x. So that is it. So the x is 55. So the next question, the answer is A. 
the next question we are given we are given two circles and that, that intersected like this we are asked to find x in terms of y making x the subject of the formula so the next they told us that o is the center of the large circle so that's the last so let's add an auxiliary line if i so what do you notice we we'll form a central angle so here is 2x by inscribe angle theorem so angle ac angle c angle c o d is 2x y inscribed angle theorem so the next thing again we'll form a cyclic for the ratara. so we know that 2x plus y must be 1 y opposite angles of a cyclic quadrata so finally we're asked to find x in terms of y so making x the subject of formula is 180 minus y root. so that is our answer or 90 minus y over 2 so depending on if it is an obj equation so they might decide to write this so the next one if pq is tangents to the circle of radius OR. So we are we are we are asked to find angle XRP. XRP. So see the angle we are looking for. So this is the angle we are looking for. So let's call it theta. SRP. So there is okay again if you remember the what i showed in that first question that whatever that is here if you add this and this it might give us this so whatever that is here now so let me call it beta so beta must be seven and a half seven two and a half minus five and a half which is 66 so here is 66 so the next one is here theta do you remember this is a triangle this is a this is the radius of the circle and from radius tangent relationship this is 90 so theta plus beta must give us 90 therefore theta must be 90 minus beta which is 90 minus 66 which is 24 so the answer is b so the next question these are the easiest ones so the next one if OA is 3 cm and angle ACD is 1 C is T sorry C is T we are asked to find AB so they told us that AC ACD ACD so here our inscribed angle is 60 degrees so since here is 60 here must be 120 based on the inscribed angle theory the angle at the center must be twice say again if we join remember we have to find a b okay a b so we if we join here but meanwhile here is 120 here should be 60 you know why do you know why remember our transversal consecutive angle theorem that if you have a transversal if here is a transversal and these two lines are parallel that whatever that is here and here once the sum the two is 180 so based on in consecutive angle theorem that this must be 60 so finally if you join this this is also the radius this is the radius so we have to find a b so remember base angles are congruent so here is also 60 so finally we have an equilateral triangle because 
seems here now. Base angle are the same. So here should be 60. Angle AOB is 60. So angle AOB is 60. Therefore, AB must be the radius, which is the which is 3 cm. So the answer is 3. They are all equal. R, R, R. So the next one has to find angle DEB. So here, let's call angle x let's call here x so by opposite angle of a cyclic quadrata that there are supplementary we have that this 180 minus x so finally by alternate segment theorem here should be 17. so we know that that it is 17 so here should be 17 so we form a linear pair so that angle on the straight line we know that 35 1 over 3 plus 180 minus x plus 17 must give us 180 so x 180 180 x is now 35 1 over 3 plus 72 which is 52 1 over 3 so the answer is d so the next question we asked to find the measure of angle qxr angle qxr so we are looking for this so since here is 4x, here should be 180 minus 4x. So this should be 180 minus 4x by cyclic quadrilateral. So we know that whatever that is in the middle, x must be equal to 2 times 180 minus 4x. Inscribe angle theorem. Inscribe angle to you. So opening up this is 360 minus 8x. X. So we have 9x equals 360, which implies that x is 40. Remember, we are not we are x is this. So but we ask angle QSR, therefore 180 minus 4s, which is our angle QSR is now. 180 minus 4 times 40, which is 180 minus 160, therefore, which, sorry, 20. So the answer is A. Our answer is A, 120. Sorry, 20. So the next question, we say two chords A, B, and C, D of a circle intersect at the right angle at a point inside the circle. If A, B, C is 23, we are asked to find D, A, B. So let's draw our circle. We have a circle and they say two chords. So let's call the first chord. This is first chord. Why the second chord? So they intersected at right angle. So here. Here is 90. So we are. They said angle. So the first chord, let's call this AB. Why this C? D. It said if angle ABC is 23. So here is 20. Three degrees, and we asked to find angle D A B. We asked to find D A B. So, see what we are looking for. Let's call it theta. So, the <laughs> it looks hard, but it's not hard. So, by Bow's theorem, this should be 23. Remember, angle in the same segment does it. So, here is 20. 23. Therefore, theta must be 90 minus 20. 23, which is 67. So that is the answer. The answer should be 67 because this is 90. So theta must be 90 minus 23. So that is 63. So the next question. 
find the measure of angle given this diagram we are given this diagram we're asked to find the measure of okay so which is we are looking for this we are looking for this so let's call it theta so the first thing how could you how how can you relate what you are given it, this is the center remember we normally denote the center of a circle with O. so this is 90 by inscribe angle theorem since here is 180 so here should be 90 here should be 90 so again Remember, this is a, SR is a tangent line. So, meaning whatever that is here must be here. So, this should be 35, 1 over 3. SR cube, the sum of the angles must be 1, 8. So, I'm saying that in triangle SR, SR cube, that if you add all the angles, 35, 1 over 3, plus 90 plus 35 1 over 3 plus theta must give us 90 so that's it so theta is now 90 because sorry this should be 180 so 180 minus 90 that's making theta the subject of formula 180 minus 90 is 90 so that 5 1 over 3 plus that 5 1 is 72 over 3. That's that 5 plus that 5, 70. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3, 2 over 3. So we have 90 minus 72 over 3. So that's how I work on fraction. And if you notice, 90 minus 70 is like 90 minus 70 minus 2 over 3 which is 90 minus 70 is 20 and 20 is 19 20 is 19 1 over 3 minus plus 2 over 3 1 is minus 2 over 3 so the answer is 19 1 over 3 so that is my answer okay. so that is how I work on fractions to split it so that it will be easy but this 90 minus 70 is 20, and 20 is 19, 1 over 3 plus 2, 2 over 3. So, so I will count, so that's, my, that's how I work on fractions, to so make it fast. So, there is the end of the easiest and the medium questions. So, let's go over to the hard ones.